okay and then uh, let's look at 70 here can the root square root of 74 be simplified so square root of 34 again we have these same problems we have an even number what we can do is we can take out a, um, a e, another even number right we take, we're, we're always taking out two here so we take out two here we get root 2 times 34 divided by 2 gives us root 17 here and 17 here is our prime number so in this case we can't we can't simplify this anymore so therefore like the most simplified form if you think about it in terms of radicals is actually uh here uh, root 34 here so you, when we say can the square root of 34 be simplified technically no because root 34 is it's um it's you, we we leave it as root thirty four because we can't break it down into more into more uh, into more uh, radicals here. But what what I think what the student did was they actually calculated what the exact value of square root of thirty four is. Again, what we could do is we could always use a calculator and and solve for this here. So root thirty four would equal about five point eight three, um, and that's what they're doing here. So they're using the concept of long division to figure out what the square root of thirty four is. So let me just go over the solution with you as well. So they're basically just using the same thing as long division. And sometimes we have to, we have to, uh, if they're asking us what the approximate value of square root 34, if the question was asking, yeah, what is the approximate uh, value of square root 34, we would definitely use this, uh, use this method here. But it was asking us, can the square root of 34 be simplified? In this case, I would answer no, because it can't be, we can't have a, we can't, we're not using, we're not simplifying this radical and breaking it down into an integer and a radical. But what we're doing is we're actually approximating what this square root is here. So let me just walk through the solution as well. Uh, basically, they're just using the concept of the long division, right? So they have 5 and 34 here. Um, and what they're doing is 5 squared is 25, and that's closest to 34, right? So 5 so five squared is 25 here. So that I would get 34 minus 25, which would equal 9. And what I could do is I can bring down another 0 here. Um, basically, I'm adding 0, 0. I bring down a 0 here. And then what I can do here is um, I have this is I can bring down zeros, uh, and then what I'm, what what uh, what what it's telling us to do is I have here I'm taking the value of eight. So it says here step two says now take the next term as zero and use decimal in the quotient to solve it further by taking value of eight since one hundred eight times eight equals eight sixty four here which is less than 100. So let's see. So I'm just figuring out where they're getting 108 here. It says, n so, okay, oh, I have 10 here first, sorry. Um, because again, I have five plus, um, five times two here is 10. That's good. And then I'm taking uh, the value of here so I have 10 here and what what it's doing is that here I'll have I have a 10 here first and then I'm taking the next term which is 0 and we use decimal in the quotient to solve it further by taking the value of 8 so uh, this this here this guy becomes uh, 108 here this is 900 here and then 5 times 8 here would be uh, 864 which is less than 900, subtract that, you get 36. And then finally, what you could do is that you could take another, you can add two zeros again, and then we would have, uh, we would have something like this. So if you add two zeros, we bring down more zeros here. Um, we get a new value here, this is 1163. And we get that from, uh, from basically 116 here, right? Because what we're doing is we have 116, and then we're taking out the three from uh, the first decimal place here. Well, not the first decimal, but the first uh, first kind of uh, placeholder value here, and then we would realize that one one six three times three equals is closest to three thirty six hundred. So therefore, uh, this is our answer here. So square root of thirty four is approximately five point eight three. So this here, if you were to approximate square roots, I would get something like this. However, the question was asking us, can the square root of 34 be simplified? So in this case, I would write just simply just no here. So, this, uh, so they, gave us, they gave us some solution in terms of uh, what, this, what this is in decimals. But um, it's, so technically, it's still the correct answer. So correct solution 
but I think they the the student was asking about a simplified radical form rather than a approximation. of the square root if so square the square root of 34 cannot be simplified so that's okay <laughs>